Hello, my name is Cristian Valdenegro. I'm a postdoc at LLR. My poster is about uh, jets of structure. So jets are the highly collimated sprays of particles that result from the fragmentations of quarks and gluons. And what I'm doing here in this analysis is that I'm mapping out exactly how this fractal self-similar um, shower forms and in a representation that is known as the loom plane. So for that, I use the jets within the jets. I phase out, uh, I, um, I map out the radiation pattern of these jets on average. I remove the detector effects. And then I obtain a detailed map of the radiation pattern of the jet, which can be used to understand better how to describe them uh, theoretically with Monte Carlo event generators. And it gives you a very visual representation of the jet. Hi guys, I'm Elena, and my poster is about the radiation testing of AGC Rock 3, the front end readout ASIC for AGCO. The high granularity calorimeter is a new detector being designed by CMS for the high luminosity LHC era. And AGC Rock 3 is the latest version of the chip to read out all these modules. It is conceived to meet extremely challenging requirements for low noise, high dynamic range, and high radiation tolerance. My work was to test the radiation tolerance of AGC Rock 3 with different irradiation campaigns with X rays, heavy ions, and protons. And to, thanks to these campaigns, we were able to prove that AGC Rock can withstand the high radiation environment of AGCO. And we were also able to spot uh, unexpected behavior that will be handled during data taking. Hello, I'm Arno Purohit from IP2I Leo. I'm presenting a poster on muon reconstruction at the high level trigger for uh, CMS for the LHC run tree. And uh, muons are really very important particles in many analysis uh, because they give a very clean signature and uh, uh, they are used for a, uh, precise measurement of the standard model cross sections and also uh, they are used to search for new particles beyond standard model. Uh, in HLT, uh, we have to take decisions uh, rapidly within 500 milliseconds and muon reconstruction takes about 30% of it and using novel techniques based on machine learning, we improved it by 18%. Hi, I'm Anna and I've been working on implementing of low PT electron reconstruction in the context of Higgs 2 ZZ to 4L analysis. Here we have Higgs decaying to two Z bosons, one of which is off-shell and it is here that we have the contribution of the low PT electrons. Any improvement in their identification of recon or reconstruction is very important for the rare decay processes such as VBS, VH, TTH or di Higgs going to multileptons. My work has been focused on uh, tuning the working point, which includes ID and isolation. And here we have been able to achieve signal efficiency of 80% while killing 70% of the background. And finally, by allowing only one low PT electron in the off-shell Z boson, we were able to achieve the gain in signal of 10% while increasing the main background for two times, which is not ideal, but can still be fine-tuned by, uh, by improving some of, the, some of the cuts and identification. Hello, I'm Luca, and this poster is all about the monitoring of the data quality of the CMS detector. So for the data that the CMS detector provides uh, to be useful for physics analysis, we need to make sure that all of its components are working properly all the time, and this requires a constant monitoring of their status. Now this is a very tedious procedure, uh, requiring a lot of person power, and in the end it still has a rather coarse time granularity. So in this poster we propose some, uh, some tools, infrastructure, and also working examples on how to improve this. We use, for example, autoencoders uh, to automatically spot uh, detector uh, issues or anomalies um, that could point to ways to improve this. In the end, uh, we hope that this can be part of the standard procedure uh, in order to really squeeze the maximum out of the data that the LHE provides.